And to talk about this a bit further, joining us from Los Angeles now, actress Hayden Panettiere, a TV star, of course, an activist. You can see her in the Cove, and she's working with uh, the organization Save the Whales Again. Good morning to you, Hayden. Thanks for getting up so early out west there for us. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. What do you think about uh, Taji's decision to let those dolphins free? Do you think they've seen the light on this issue? Well, well, we'll see if they actually do it. They're supposed to set about 50 of the bottlenose dolphins free after selling about 50 of them for around 150 grand each to um, wildlife marine parks. I think it's a step. I definitely think it's a step, and we shouldn't... Um, overlook it, but at the same time, there's a lot that needs to be done still to keep the slaughter from happening. A lot of political pressure on them right now. Uh, Rick Barry, who was uh, the trainer on the TV show Flipper, he's, he's uh, sort of the focal point of the, of the documentary that you were involved in as well. Uh, he's started this crusade because he feels guilty about starting the global fascination with dolphins, the, these creatures that seem to be naturally smiling all the time. How do you feel about marine parks? Uh, and, and captive dolphins. How, how do you think others should feel about them? Well, some of the marine animals that I've spent time with uh, have been taken from Japan because they were injured or, or otherwise or bred in ca captivity. And I think that's very different than going to Japan and taking them from the wild and, and spending a, paying 150 grand while they're already slaughtering the rest of them. That's, that I'm not okay with. Right. You, this is video of you actually uh, swimming with these creatures. What is it about them? What, what made you fall in love with them and, and led you to uh, your efforts to try to save them as you do? I've always been an animal lover. That's the way I was raised. And uh, Jeff Panahoff, who is the founder and creator of the Whaleman Foundation, the Save the Whales Again uh, campaign, got me involved with it uh, when I was about 15 years old. And he asked me if I wanted to participate, showed me footage. I saw how brutal and horrific and, and how much impact it really does have on our world that we slaughter these, these innocent and, and beautiful creatures. And they really are are huge in our circle of life so i i fell madly in love with them especially when we did that dive that i think you guys just uh, saw yeah yeah and then you paddled out into that cove in taji a couple years ago to try to stop it there so it's obvious you were invested in this story we appreciate your insight this morning thanks so much and good luck to you absolutely All thank right. you